Hey folks, my name is Chico Lopez. I will make this video and I'll show you the puppy in just a second, okay? Because I already did another other videos and the puppy is right here. So I'll show you the puppy. Okay, good. Puppy is being shown to you. My website, 123pitbulls.com. The topic of today is gonna to be about your life. I wanna to talk to you about experiences as a young man and now as a little bit older man, things that will help you make your life a little bit easier. A lot of times our parents don't teach us many things that we need in life to survive. And a lot of times we learn about things from the streets, we learn from other people that are parallel to our understanding and knowledge. A lot of times we learn from bad habits from other people or bad sayings or words or whatever. And we get the wrong idea about people and about, about stuff. I can be, I can be honest with you and tell you that I, I being that kind of person that took a lot of bad advice from family, about humans and about people, you know? And there is no such a thing as bad people and good people. I took that from John C. Maxwell, by the way. There's no such a thing as good and bad people. Fact is, someone could be bad with you, and then later that person could be good to you. And fact is, sometimes you have someone that's good under strong conditions, and the least you think that person will be very mean to you. The only type of people that live in the, that really you should care about is the two, these two type of people. The ones that are, can lift you to make you better and those that can actually drag you down and make you down. And people change. So you might have someone that's lifting you and then you give this person a certain value and next thing you know, that person is actually bringing you down. So you gotta be careful. You gotta always check everything, okay? Always gotta check everything. So I wanna give you a little story about that applies to everything in life. You have now on the internet, this crazy um, culture of people, they call them the haters. And the internet is great in so many different ways, but the internet also gave the voice to a lot of different bad people and people that didn't have a voice before. And those people that are miserable, they hate people for free. They don't like it to be successful. Many of them, they give you a face and then later on, they give you a different face. So you have to be careful because a lot of times those people can hurt your feelings. And a lot of times you can make decisions based on those people. And sometimes those people can actually, you know, become a habit to see what the haters are saying. And it becomes a problem. I've seen celebrities making videos about haters. And I said, I'm not gonna ever gonna make a video about haters. I believe the haters are good to me today. I tell you why haters are good, to, good for me today. Because when someone writes anything of hate about me or lies, which they make many, many lies about me, you know, someone will go into, they say, why are they talking about Chico Lopez? Why are they saying these things about Chico Lopez? Let me go back and take a look at what Chico Lopez is or maybe Google Chico Lopez and they'll find me. And they find the most of the best stuff about me, which is the truth. The person who I am today. This is me, Chico Lopez right here, the person that I am today. And they see that person there and they say, wow, this guy is a very nice person. This person makes videos to lift other people's lives, to help them to be better, to be better people. And that's who I am today. That's the person that you need to meet as Rio Chico Lopez. So when those people come in and meet me, they say, wow, he's a really nice guy. He does have the best dogs. He has the most experience. He has the dogs very consistent. They're better than anybody. So now I know why those guys were saying bad things about him because they want to get the stuff he has and he's not giving it to them, obviously, or not giving them their time. So I'm gonna give you a little story about something that I've seen in boxing recently because this culture of hate crosses everywhere. I was sitting down at a, at a scaling moment, you know, a moment when they're gonna scale the boxers and it was not the public scale where they scaled the boxers and everybody, the cameras there, it was a private scale and so, People that are really the teams that are with the boxers were there. And there was this one team sitting down on a little place where they had a couple of chairs, was sitting right behind me. And there were a couple of guys, there were three guys, and this was one guy that was very obnoxious. He was talking very loud and in Spanish and nobody understood what he was saying, but I did. And I don't wanna say the country that he's from because the country is beautiful. And I also learned that if I say this guy from this country, somehow I put a stain on the country. And I don't want to do that. Really, the country is beautiful. But the guy himself had a terrible culture. And he was talking bad about other people that I know and people that I don't know and suing himself up and all this stuff. And I'm listening 
and I'm thinking this guy really, you know, has some problem. I, I, I don't want to. I'm just waiting, you know. It's just like really early in the morning, and then all of a sudden, a boxer is walking through. A legend, one that I particularly I'm not his fan, but I, I respect. I respect all boxers, especially if they're a legend. I will, I'm going to respect them. So this gentleman walks in, walk by with a huge entourage. And these guys in the back, the, the man that was agnostic, he comes and says, this guy is very chini, very easy to defend. He has no, a whole bunch of stuff, but no courage. And this happened to his wife and that happened to this and to that. Wow, you know? But he talked, he was already talking about other people. So I figured this guy just talks smack all the time. But what happens was when things came to test, very interesting. They told the boxer to sit next to those guys behind me for some reason. I don't know why they sent him back to sit down. He sat down next to those guys and I can see in the corner of my eye, this guy going over and say, hello, Mr. Such and Such. It's an honor to meet you, to shake your hand. You're a legend. It's an honor. And I was like, oh my God. I cannot believe this guy. And I said, I cannot believe this guy. I almost kind of called his, you know, told, told him something, but I stood watching him and analyzing people. Then somehow the guy walked away and he started talking bad about him. And I said, this is the typical hater. You know, I go sometimes on in, in the internet and, and people that contact me say like, I really want to buy your dogs, Mr. Lopez, you're a legend, you're a superstar, you're a celebrity dog, man, blah, 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 blah. You know, I never seen anything like yours. They really give me a, a long list of great things, right? And I seen these guys later when somebody put a comment that is bashing me for some reason and these guys check like. That's how people are today. So do not believe on the people that kisses you behind and do not believe on the haters. Sometimes both of them have the same value. Sometimes someone could be you know, behind the computer, people do all kinds of things. I hope this video is good for you. I hope this video is good for, for your, the young generations coming up. Be a man, stand up for what you say. If you don't like something, maybe you say quiet, don't say nothing. If you like something, sometimes just be quiet. But if you have something bad to say about somebody, maybe don't say it. And if you wanna say it, make sure you stick to it. And if you make a mistake, make sure you are the first man that come back and correct it. Be a man. Be serious, have a word. When you give your word, make sure you keep that word, okay? The, your word as a man should be priceless. Nobody should be able to own your word. Be a warrior, be a real man. So this is my advice to you. When you're looking at these things, whether you are an entrepreneur or whether, whatever you do in life, make sure that if you make a promise to yourself, you're keeping it. But also make sure that if you, keep, you make a promise to somebody else, you're also keeping it. Most of the times you make promises when you have high level of adrenaline. And then when the adrenaline is off, when there is no rewards, many people change their minds. They're like, oh, I changed my mind, I'm not gonna do that. But if you already give your word, you gotta make sure you do it. Two simple lessons that I gave you today, guys, just for you to learn a little bit about life, you know, go ahead in life and be a better person and be a better human. My name is Chico Lopez. I'm gonna be making some videos like this to help you guys understand how life should be. Be like a pit bull. Be a real man, stand up and fight for yourself. And remember, there's always a lot of opportunities in life for those that are positive, that stay positive, believe in God, and believe in going forward and helping others. Don't be the type of person that bring people down. That's not good, be a positive person. My name is Chico Lopez again. God bless you, be like a pit bull. One, two, three, pitbulls.com, Chico Lopez, bye-bye.